Hey guys, it's James here. Guess what today is? One of my favorite days, new tire day. This is really exciting. I love new tires. They make your ride so much better. So one of the things I saw is there's a lot of videos about how to install Cush Core, but I haven't seen one about how to remove a tire that has Cush Core installed. So today we're gonna to be checking that out and see what we can do. So you're gonna need a couple of things. Need some tire levers, gonna need a new pump. Got to pump it back up or compressor because you got to seat the bead. Don't forget your sealant. Last thing, tires. I love new tires. All right, well, let's get started. Check this out, see what we can do. First, let's start off by removing the axle from your wheel. If you have a quick release axle, just release the lever and unscrew the axle. If your axle is not a quick release, you'll need to loosen the bolts holding the axle in place first before unscrewing it. Once you've removed the wheel, unscrew your valve and release all the air from the tire. After the air is released from the tire, you'll need to remove the tire from the wheel. This is pretty challenging due to Cush Core being installed, but if you follow Cush Core's instructions in reverse, it's not too hard. I found that pushing the tire off the bead and into the center of the channel made it much easier to remove the tire. Tire levers helped out as well, as I was able to use two in order to get the tire off of the rim. This part is the hardest part, so make sure you break the seal from the tire to the rim. It may be easier to get the other side out if you remove the Cush Core insert, but I left mine in. I didn't want to have to put it back on, as that can be its own challenge. Depending on the condition of your insert, you'll need to replace it or you can reuse it. Cushcore says you can get two tires out of one insert. I checked to make sure there were no major gashes and it was still pliable, and decided to keep my insert. Putting the tire on is challenging, but not too bad depending on your rim and tire combination. Using soapy water on the bead makes it far easier. You'll notice that I put them in dry with no issue. A few of my tips for making this much easier are as follows. One, make sure you put the tire on the right way. I look to see where the decals are and put them on the drive side of the wheel. This works for Maxxis, but may work for other manufacturers as well. Nothing sucks worse than having to take the tire off and put it back on the other way. Number two, when putting the tire on, push the bead into the center channel of the rim. You can roll the bead underneath the Cush Core insert to get it in that channel. Number three, when you get to that last little bit of tire that needs to go over the rim, put a tire lever in the center of the last bit and push the lever until it pops onto the rim. Make sure to hold on to the other parts of the tire in the rim so you don't pop the tire off completely. Number four. Once one side is done, push the tire into the bead as much as you can. This makes doing the other side easier. Five. Repeat the previous steps, but it is more important to roll the tire into the center channel. This is the hardest part, but if you roll it under the insert effectively enough, you'll find it pretty easy to get the tire on. Six, I've almost never used a compressor to seat the bead. A pump and some muscles will get it pumped up just fine in most cases. Number seven, I use orange seal and put the sealant in after the tire is completely on the rim. I don't like spilling sealant and I found it's much easier to do this way. Turning the tire so the valve stem is on the side instead of on the bottom gets more sealant into the tire. 8. I pump my tires up to the max PSI listed onto the tire. This helps stretch the tire out, represent 2.5 maxes that don't measure 2.5. When swapping my tires, I had more trouble with the rear than the front. The insert in the rear tires seemed to have been more stretched out, so it wouldn't sit in the rim properly. That made getting the tire onto the rim a nightmare. I don't recall if it was always like that or if the insert had gotten stretched or it was just at the end of its life. Now that you've got the tire mounted and pumped up, it's time to put the wheel back on. Thanks for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe to stay updated when I put new videos out. 